Hello, welcome to my fashion class once again. If you're first time of joining, this is Style Little Fuma Moluru, and I teach you how to make simple, sassy, trendy um, outfit. If you are a tailor already and you need to improve your skills, you're welcome. If you're just learning how to sew, it's also a perfect um, avenue for you to get started. So whatever the case is, this is where you want to be. So don't forget you need to subscribe to keep seeing my videos as I post them. And don't forget to like and give a thumbs up. Let me read here from you. You can post a comment. I always love to read from my viewers. So let's get into today's class. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using this beautiful Ankara fabric. As you can see, so you need three yards of this. I need my ruler, I need my scissors, I need my chalk, my tape, and a marker. I also need some paper. So you need to watch this to the end to see why I'll need some paper. So you need to get your measurements. You need your shoulder, your bust, your long sleeve, your round sleeve, your half length, your waist, and the blouse length. So let's start cutting. So now I'm going to cut the top part of my blouse or my tie neck top so what I need to do like it's always better to leave your fabric the way it is when you want to cut this is what I always do I just leave it as it comes in the six yards and I'm going to fold progressively as I go on so you may not need to cut off because you don't know exactly how much you would need so when you cut this way it helps you save your fabric so I'm going to fold into two because first and foremost we're going to cut the half length. So you see the way I folded, I folded across the length, the width of the fabric. So the half length for this particular top I am cutting is a UK, is a, um, UK size 18. So I'm going to be cutting 19 inches half length. So I want to check on what I have folded and see. Obviously, it's going to be enough because the full length of an Ankara is 45. So when you fold into two, you get 22 and a half. So this way we are good. What we need is just about 20 or 19 inches because I want it to be 18 after sewing. So now we need to now ascertain how much we will need this way. So I'm going to fold this way first. Okay, uh, because one thing about sewing, you need to learn how to economize the fabric. Sometimes you give a tailor of fabric and they tell you it wasn't enough or the use of everything and you knew they could have used less. So watching my videos will help you to see how uh, you can manage your fabric. So I'm going to check this against the size I need to cut. So a size UK 18 is bust 43, 44, even 45. So if I check 45 against what I folded, I will know if it's going to be okay. So 45 divided by 4 is 11 and a quarter. That will be somewhere there. So I will need 2 inches because of my of the shirt, the front of the shirt. Then I also need 1 inch at the side, in, um, allowance at the side. So what I folded here is going to be perfect to do the work so I'm just going to cut okay now that I've cut I'm also going to divide this again so I don't want to have bits of pieces everywhere so I'm going to fold this way and I'm going to cut you can decide to cut the front um, piece first or you can decide to cut the back it depends on you so what I want to do I want us to cut the back first then we can place that on the front uh, front piece so this is the back now i'm going to measure make sure you take away take off the selvage okay that's very important so once that has been done now i'm going to measure 19 inches if you don't know how to get your perfect half length, then you can watch 
one of my videos where I showed you how to cut, how to take your measurements. Your half length needs to be perfect. If not, what happens is after sewing, it could be a little waist or it could be too high. So you don't want any of that happening. So this is the piece I have for well, either the front or the back. So we said we're going to cut the back first. So I don't need to slant this at the back. All I'm going to do is take the shoulder, the shirt. So you need to make your shoulder a bit, you know, broader than normal because you don't want it being snow. The freer, the better. So for this particular client on a dress, I would use eight, um, 16 inches. But because it's a shirt, I'm going to use 17 inches and a shirt that doesn't have frills at the top. So 17 plus 1, 18. So 18. And I'm going to take my arm hole. So I'm going to do nine and a half for the depth of the arm hole. So it depends on who you are making the outfit for. But since this is a UK 18, I don't want it too deep. I don't want it too snug. So that's the L shape. All I need to do now is to create my curve. So if you notice, I didn't go in. I just, I'm just going to cut along the line. And as it gets to the bottom, and I'll start to curve out. So I also have a video on how to cut your perfect um, oh, so I started to go outward at about three inches from the end of my L. So now what I want to do is to take the bust. So the bust starts one inch beneath the curve, uh, curved or the arm O. So I'm going to be taking the bust divided by four. Now the waist, okay. I'm going to do a 38 or 40, okay? So I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to curve this to the bottom. Okay, that's it. So now I'm going to be having a dart. So for my dart, I'm going to do five inches. So get the scissors and I'm going to just notch so that I won't you need to do that again now you're going to hold one about three quarter of an inch here so it's going to you have to make provision for that so i'm going to add where i'm supposed to leave just one inch at the bottom here i'm going to be leaving two inches okay so that it can take cater for that or three one quarter So now I'm going to cut. So that's the back piece for my shirt. Now for the neckline, I'm going to be making it three inches wide. I don't want it too broad because of the tie neck. So here I'm going to just bring it down with half an inch. Okay, you don't want that too deep, so just half an inch. Then I need to take off my one inch shoulder slope. So I just mark that towards the outer part. Okay, you don't touch anything on the neckline. So that's it. So now I'm going to take that off. Yeah, so when you do this, before you start, you go on with your so I'm um, fixing your sleeve. Always verify that this still amounts to eight and a half because it was nine and a half. I took off one inch on the shoulder slope, so this is going to be reduced. So before you add your sleeve, verify and make sure that you still have eight and a half or whatever it was you used for your ample. So now I'm going to take the other piece of fabric. And I'm going to cut the front piece now for the front block. So I'm just going to place the back on the front. Okay, now you need to pay attention to this because it gets tricky. So first and foremost, 
I want to make two inches allowance for my bottom hole. Two inches because I want to fold. I want my fold to be big enough. I want it to be double. Okay, and thick enough so, because I don't want to add uh, feasible interface or what you call gum stay. So I'm keeping two inches for that. Okay, and I also need to make provision for one inch. You know, they bought the what was they called the bottom overlaps. So because it overlaps, if you don't make this one inch extra provision, it's going to run short, and you don't want that happening. So I'm going to cut along that. I may just decide to add about half an inch to the front piece because I don't want it to be too short and second thought. So if you notice what I did, as I went towards the side, I now slanted to meet the back piece. Okay, so the front piece at the center is longer, it has the extra one inch. Then as it went to the side, I took off the extra one inch to align with the back because the back is should normally be shorter. So now I'm going to cut. Okay. Now for the neckline as well, it has to, this is where it stopped. So I'm going to cut all the way to that point as well so before i take it off i'm just going to cut so that it guides me all right so now i can take this off okay and i'm going to bring the front neckline down with two three and a half 3.5 so this is where 3.5 mark is I'm going to get my ruler and i'm going to rule so i'm going to make my curve from that point, okay, but I will cut all the way like that. All right, so now let's open up the center of the front piece or the front block of our tiny neck blouse or shirt. Okay, so I've opened that. So I'm just going to notch to the point that my fold is going to end for my bottom, okay, at that point. So this has as a neckline. Now for the front of my shirt, it doesn't have to be like the back. So I'm just going to try to curve that in a little more than the back, just a little more, like um, three quarter of an inch, okay? Yeah, so that's it. This extra two inches, you're going to fold like that, okay? I'm going to fold like that. And I'm going to fold again so we lose that when that is done so now I'm going to keep this aside we have the back and the front piece now for the sleeves or we we'll cut the bottom of our top first so I get my fabric again the rest of the fabric I'm going to fold into two and I'm going to complete complete the length of the top the upper part was 19 inches I changed initially it was 18 but I said to go for 19 so and I want the top to be 26 inches long so 19, I think 6 minus 19 gives us about um, 7 inches. So that means this should be 7 inches long. Okay. But because the fold at the bottom needs to be a bit bold, instead of 7 inches, I'm going to cut 9 inches. So let me get my tape. I folded into two because I need two pieces, one for the back and one for the front piece. So let's see. This is a bit too much. So I'm going to reduce that. We can make 9 or 10. Better too long than too short. Okay. So I'm going to cut. Yeah, so I'm going to divide this into two. So we're going to have two pieces. If you want it fuller, you can cut an additional piece to add to it. So this is what we have, one and two. So for the front, I can decide to cut some more 
and just add to the side to make it longer because of the bottom hole. So this is going to be ruched to fit into the top. So that's done. Now for the sleeve, or we can cut the neck, any one you choose to cut. But for the sleeve, I'm going to get my paper and I'm going to cut the sleeve measurement. We're going to be using the slash. Okay, so here's my paper. You were wondering what I was going to do with that initially. So what I did was to fold it, cut the sleeve, and I had to slash it open, okay, like this, so that when I cut it open, I can spread it, okay, to create a wider, you know, bottom, more volume at the bottom. So now I'm going to get my fabric, the rest of the fabric, the three years. So I'm going to just place that on the table. Like this. Normally you can cut this again on another piece of paper to get what you want. But you can also transfer this directly to the fabric. So I'm going to get my pins and I'm going to place that way on the fabric so that I can have a wider bottom. Yeah, so that's my sleeve. So this is another way of cutting your sleeve. So I've cut the sleeve. So now I'm going to just get my scissors and I'm going to notch the top. Okay. So we're going to fold the bottom and add elastic to give us the ruching we need. So the last part is to cut the neckline. So you can make it, I'm going to make this, I have to cut two pieces. I want it to be three inches. That's a six. Yeah, so I'm just going to show that. This is the two pieces I have. So I'm going to cut this joint to become long enough and attach this to the neck. After I must have placed the shoulder. Yeah, so that's the finished um blouse. You can see our tie knot neck peplum shirt blouse is ready. So I add elastic to the sleeve, 10 inches long, according to your size, really. And that gives you the fold you need for your top, the volume. And I did my button all, so I spaced the 2.5 inches in between. And um, I use, it depends on the size of button you're using, really. And the bottom part, I left it open, so it keeps it sassy. And for the tie neck, what I did was, after fixing it on, I used my interlocker to give the clean finishing that I top stitched on the belt to keep it in place. So I also did my dart on my blouse, okay, as you can see. So it depends on the size of cotton, really. That will determine how full um, your root gathers at the bottom of your top is so when you finish sewing don't forget you need to give it a good press so it comes looking lovely so thank you for watching and see you next time bye